Jumbo, fellow dreamers. In today's video, I am doing a Pinterest project. I am upcycling an old dingy cork board and turning it into something a little prettier. I'm Anne, and this is Annie's Simple Life. So here's what the front of the cork board looks like. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to press some fabric that's gonna be big enough to fit around the top of it. Here's the back side, so you can just kind of like see what I'm dealing with. It's got a little plastic rim around the edge, but that's about it, nothing too fancy. So I'm just going to trim the fabric to fit. This is a great project for those remnants that you have left over just kind of hanging out. These were old curtains that I used to have in my kitchen that uh, no longer served its purpose. So I'm just trimming about, I'm leaving about two inches around the entire perimeter of the cork board, trimming off the excess. And then I am just using some old bathtub caulking glue and I am just rubbing it around the edge of the back side of the cork board and then folding the fabric over top. You can use any kind of glue you want to use for this, anything that would be strong. So like a super glue or a hot glue gun, though you have to be very careful with that because that gets very, very hot. Um, something that's just a really strong type of glue. And the one that I'm using, it's Loctite brand. And it's actually, it doesn't say bathroom caulking on it, but that's what it is. And this particular one dries clear. And I'm only using the glue on the back side of the board. So it doesn't really matter what color it dries, but I was just more concerned about the strength of it. So I'm just making sure I'm pulling the fabric fairly tight over the edge of the back of the cork board. And I'm leaving the corners for last. I'm really giving it a good press because that's kind of important. You want to make sure this stays. You could use um, nails or staples as well, depending on what the back of your cork board is made of. I didn't want to go over that route because I thought that was a little too involved. <laughs> so I'm just going glue with this one. And again, just like the other four sides, just folding it over, pressing down, and it's already sticking, which is awesome. I like using this. And I was using my fingers because it just gave me a little more control. So then for the corners, I'm actually, it's kind of like I'm wrapping a present. I just fold it, kind of like origami, <laughs> and glue it down. Nothing fancy, I don't care what the backside looks like. It's all about being flush on the front of the board. And then I'm using a little bit more glue to, kind of like a Mod Podging or like decoupaging something, putting glue on the top of the corner too because there's a lot of fabric here that needs to stay down, so I do, make sure that there's glue on the underside as well as the top side of each of those little flaps. And there's the finished product. So I could leave it at that, you know, cause it's just, you know, done. Nicely covered, that's it. Uh, but I decided that I want to go ahead and add those little ribbon thatches on there. So you can just stick little notes rather than having to use push pins all the time. So I just laid them out, kind of a rough estimate of where I wanted the yarn to go and then I just taped the sides I glued them down in the back and then I'm trimming just the excess yarn off here I used the same glue as I used for the fabric to keep everything down trimming off the excess tape was my friend for this and then I just you know flipped everything over and just glued the little pieces down all at once nice and easy cleaning up the excess yarn, and there's the finished product. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. Today's shout out from yesterday's video goes to Maggie, who has never been to a Whole Foods before, which is not really that uncommon, actually. I hadn't been to a Whole Foods probably until maybe two or three years ago. We don't have one in our town. I have to take a little bit of a drive, but we are getting one this summer, and I cannot wait. If you missed yesterday's Whole Foods haul, the link is in the description bar below. For a possible shout out in tomorrow's video, share this video on Facebook or Twitter with the hashtag Annie's Simple Life. If you've not already and you'd like to, hit that button down below, subscribe so you never miss a daily Dreamland video. Kiss someone you love today, do an upcycle project, and I will see you all tomorrow. Ciao!